Uh, this is Benjamin Fulford speaking on August 30th, 2011. Uh, my fellow humans, we have some important news to announce. A meeting took place last week with, uh, between representatives of 57 countries. Uh, the meeting took place in a ship in international waters off the coast of Monaco. The meeting was forced onto the ship by representatives of the cabal that is now ruling France, Italy, England, Canada, and the United States. Uh, the representatives of the various governments were presented with unequivocal, unequivocal evidence that the cabal controlling these countries was planning the genocide, was planning to murder more than four billion human beings through disease, war, and starvation. And a consensus has been made to overthrow these criminals. And I have a message now for Chancellor Merkel of Germany. We would like to ask you, Angela Merkel, to please side with humanity and break away from this murderous cabal, free the German people from their control. Uh, ask yourself, if you face a war crimes tribunal in the future, will you have a clear conscience? I believe you will, and I believe that you are on the side of humanity. I would also like to ask Prime Minister Cameron of the United Kingdom the same question. Are you sure that you would be able to have a trial at a war crimes commission where you would have a clear conscience. I do not think so. I think the murder of citizens of Libya and the stealing of their oil is a crime. And Pri er, President Sarkozy of France, your fellow leaders now know that you entrapped uh, Strauss-Kahn with a maid you sent in cooperation with elements of the Federal Reserve Board and your dirty tricks are known and perhaps you should just stay in New Caledonia. I don't think you're going to be welcome in France much longer. Uh, the government of Italy too, you have to understand that there's not going to be a fascist coup, there's not going to be a fascist world government. Remember this, we know who these people are. It's the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderbergers, and the Council on Foreign Relations. We're talking about a few hundred old men. We're talking about George Bush, senior and junior. We're talking about Henry Kissinger, Senator uh, J. Rockefeller. We're talking about Tony Blair. We know who these people are. We know that you are planning to kill four billion people. It's not going to happen. The Pentagon and the agencies are now on our side. We are going to break into the global collateral accounts and make sure that you cannot cut off the money supplies to the White Hats. You must surrender. If you do not surrender, you will lose any chance you have. And that chance is shrinking by the day of uh, being able to appear before a Truth and Reconciliation Committee in exchange for forgiveness of your crimes. That time is running out. You are going to go to jail or worse if you do not stand aside. Uh, humanity is tired of your endless wars. We know that 90% of human savings is going towards murder and uh, crimes against humanity. We don't want this anymore. You are not going to be financed. You are being cut off financially from the rest of the world. Your days are numbered. We want freedom. We want the ability to use our resources to find ways to improve the environment, to end poverty, uh, to end war to explore the universe, to make us all happier and healthier. We are tired of your incompetent rule. You must stand aside. Uh, we have the governments of 57 countries behind us now. The Japanese government will be with us soon. And I believe that the sooner you realize that your days are numbered, the better it is for you. This is your final warning. Thank you. My fellow humans, you will be free soon. You're going to be born into an age of wonder. There will be many, many good things will happen. Once these murderers are out of power, you will find so many wonderful things in your lives. I guarantee you this. This is not pie in the sky. This is real. 
थैंक यू